Here we have a 32 inch Samsung LCD TV. In this video we are going to discuss some basic troubleshooting methods for a Samsung LCD TV that does not power on and does not have any standby light. In most Samsung LCD TVs we have four boards. We have the main board, the power supply board, the backlight inverter. The backlight inverter can sometimes be covered by a plastic or metal shield. We also have the TCON board. The TCON board can also sometimes be covered by a shield. Click the link in the video for more information on the basic functions of these boards. If you cannot power on your TV, the first thing you will want to check is that you have the TV plugged into an outlet that is working. After making sure that the outlet is working, you will want to check and see that your TV has a standby light. The standby light will typically be blinking or illuminated on the front of the TV. If you do not see a light in the front, then you do not have standby. If your TV will not power on and you do not have standby, then you most likely have a problem with the power supply board. Here we have a close up of the power supply. You can look over the board and do a visual inspection looking for any raised or puffy capacitors or any burnt or damaged components. Here are some examples of what a puffy capacitor or burnt and damaged component will look like. If you have any damaged components that look this way, you should replace the board. If there is not a replacement board available, you can also try replacing the individual components or purchasing a repair kit. Removing and installing new components requires the ability to be able to solder. When looking for damaged components or burn marks, you can also look at the bottom side of the board. You would simply just need to disconnect all the cables and then remove the screws that hold the board to the panel. Be sure when disconnecting cables and removing screws that you take a picture of what the board looks like in the original state with all the cables connected and then you'll have a reference for when you reconnect all the cables. If all the components look good, then you will want to check the fuse on the power supply board to see if it is blown. Here are some images of what a blown fuse can look like. Some TVs have glass fuses and some have ceramic fuses. The glass fuses can show visual damage when they are blown. The ceramic fuses do not and would need to be tested with a meter. If the fuse is blown, replace the fuse and then plug your TV back in. After you plug it back in, if the new fuse blows immediately, then there is a problem with the power supply board and it should be replaced. If the fuse does not blow, then you may have just had a power surge or another problem that caused the fuse to blow. If your fuse is good and you do not see any visible damage on the power supply board, the next step is to use a meter and start checking voltages on the power supply board to see where the problem is. This kind of testing requires specific equipment and a specific skill set. Be sure you have the proper equipment and experience when checking voltages. Thank you for watching our Samsung LCD troubleshooting video for Samsung LCD TVs that will not power on and do not have standby. Here are some other videos that can help you with your troubleshooting. Click on any of the links to view the video. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comment section below. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends to help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.